Hello folks, today I'm going to try and finish up RGB on the Pinwheel Galaxy. The only issue I've got going on right now is that the, the moon is at uh, 90%, so that's not helping, but I don't have much choice. I want to be out there capturing it. We'll see how this turns out. Uh, see my guiding. Guiding is, uh, the tote RMS error is 0.63. Uh, that's good enough for me. Uh, I'm fine with that. And when I have enough pictures to stack, I'll be back and see how that's looking. Okay, I'll see you later. Hey, I am back and I finished capturing data on the Pinwheel Galaxy. I captured 40 minutes each of red, green, and blue, and that goes along with the four hours of data I captured on the LPR filter about a week ago. And right here, this is my, my blue data. You can see I've got a dust on it here. I'm, I'm not sure why. My, my flats didn't seem to work as well on blue. And so i got to investigate that. And let's see, this is my red filter. Uh, this is the LPR data that I captured uh, about a week ago. And this is my green data. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is what it looks like when I merge the RGB together. Um, you, you can see uh, that that dust donut went away, but this vignetting came from the red filter. I had vignetting on red. I don't know why. That's another thing I'm going to have to investigate. And after I added luminance and did some processing to the RGB, this is what it looks like. Oops, where did it go? That's the, the color image, but I, I'm not really satisfied with it. I'm probably going to spend a week playing around with this data until I come up with something that I like. And I see a ring of data going around here. Or, or not, not a ring of data, just a, a ring of, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is, noise, I guess. So I, I got to figure that out. And I think these halos on the bright stars might be coming from, uh, might be a reflection off of my LPR filter, because I don't see this halo on my RGB data. Uh, so I might stop using that LPR. Well, I'm, I'm going to probably try that next time. Okay, so uh, this is so far the final image, but I'll come back to it. So, thanks for listening. Hello, folks. I have switched to the Sombrero Galaxy. I finished the pinwheel. I hope the data is good. We'll have to see. Um, let's take a look at my guiding for the Sombrero Galaxy. Right now, I'm only going to be doing my LPR filter on the Sombrero, and then I'm probably going to call it quits for the night. I've probably got an hour left on that one to go, and I'm not going back outside to check things out, so I'll continue it another day, probably when the moon is less bright. Uh, my guiding is uh, the tote RMS error is 1.06. Yeah, I don't really like those numbers. It, for some reason, though, my, my guiding is never very good when I'm pointing low in the south. And it was like that for my AVX as well. I thought maybe the CGX would be a different story, but they both have this issue. Or maybe the issue is me. I don't know. So I'll see how it comes out. Maybe the stars will still be around. We'll see. I'll see you later. Hey, I am back, and I had a chance to stack the first um, 15 images that came through. And so this is 30 minutes of data. And I'm liking how this looks so far. I think it's pretty cool looking. I haven't cropped any data. And let's zoom in a little. See how my stars look. The stars, they're not perfect circles, but it's not that bad. And I think the galaxy looks really cool so far. I'm going to keep collecting data on it. And at least for another 45 minutes or so. We'll see how it looks at the end.